Good morning guys, uh, today we're going to be building temporarily shoring wall. We need to replace that beam that you can see uh, with the bigger one. So we have to build the wall that supports patio cover structure uh, so we can replace that beam. We are going from 4x6 beam to uh, 4x10. The reason we're doing that because they wanted to get rid of that post that you see uh, left from me. Uh, they just want to have two posts instead of three and later they want to extend that patio cover. Which I'm going, going to have another video about that. Please stay tuned for that one. As you can see we added uh, four more rafters to support uh, existing uh, roof. Because uh, uh, whoever built it before, they had too wide of a span. It was holding up, but it just wasn't right. So we just uh, decided to add it. We installed the uh, two uh, two by four by sixteen on the ceiling and on the floor. And now we just uh, add in uh, one stud after another until we uh, we get to the end. So basically, every rafter supposed to have a stud holding it and um, after that we're just gonna put the cross braces and uh, it'll be ready to go so I have fun watching it
the wall is done and uh, we already started taking down existing uh, 4x6 beam our next video is going to be about how to install 4x10 by 18 foot structural beam all by yourself one person thank you for watching